What's the good word, gang? Matt here, country song teacher for your Tuesday talk. I thought I would just quickly give you my top five quotes. Now, I probably got more than five, but I'm just going to ramble off five that really, five quotes that I've heard over the years that have really um, are sayings or, or life skills or whatever that have had a huge impact in my life. Maybe they can, they can on YouTube. The first one is success is something you attract by becoming an attractive person. So that makes you ask the question, what do I need to do to become an attractive person? Uh, learn another language, learn certain skills, learn a better smile, get a better personality, have a better handshake, um, just on and on and on. Um, uh, be an encourager, have, be more thankful, whatever it is. When you become these things, you will attract success. It's natural. So success is something you attract by becoming an attractive person. And it makes your mindset say, what do I need to do to become an attractive person? The second thing, work harder on yourself than your job. Jim Rohn always teaches about this, and it's had a huge impact on my life. Yeah, you go to work every day, and you should do a good job and all that. I'm not saying take a break on your work. But what are you doing working on yourself? Again, whether it's your health, your spiritual life, your relationships, all this stuff. Work harder on yourself than your job. Jobs come and go. When you improve and, and really work on yourself, especially young people, remember this, that's what's going to have a long-lasting impact, impact on your relationships, your finances, uh, and spiritual life, and so forth. Number three, take what you have where you are, do what you can. My dad preaches this in all of his management training all over the world. He goes and teaches. Take what you have where you are. Do what you can. And what's cool about this phrase, it eliminates excuses. But if only, if I was a little taller, if I made a little more money, if I had a better personality, if I was a little healthier, if I lived here, if I lived there, if I was with her, if I was with him, if I was the older brother, if I was younger brother, man, if I just had kids, if I was, the, it eliminates all that. You take what you have right where you are, you do what you can. It's amazing how you'll find it'll just start, things will start happening. Because you just use, stay in your lane and take what you have, where you are, do what you can. You'll see an impact. The fourth thing, if you want something done, give it to a busy person. My dad quotes this all the time, too. And I find this in my own life. If you have if you have a person that's making 10 phone calls and ask them to make one more, it's no big deal. All right, I'll knock it out. Boom, it gets done. If you have something, somebody's doing nothing to make one phone call, it's like, oh, man, I don't want to do that. And again, I do this in my own life. If I start getting lazy, start having that stinking thinking, getting negative, and I'm just sitting around on my hands, not, not very mobile, not very personal. You ask me to do something, I'm like, ah, I'll probably get to it tomorrow. Oh, I don't know. I'll make some calls the next day. And you get lazy. If I'm active, boom, 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 I'm working out, I'm talking to people, going, and you ask me to do something else, bam, I can knock it out because I'm already moving and grooving. And then the fifth one is a Bible verse that I quote often. Commit your works unto the Lord and your thoughts will be established. A lot of people will tell me, how do you think so spiritual? What, what, do you, how do you, what do you do to keep your mind on God, to keep your mind on things that really matter, that are eternal, that have a bigger purpose than just yourself? You commit your works unto the Lord. So commit the Bible verse in Proverbs, commit your works unto the Lord and your thoughts will be established. So so many times if I find myself, I don't, I'm like, God, I don't even think about you. I don't think about the Bible. I don't think about prayer. I don't think about telling people about Jesus. I don't think about anything. What do I need to do? And I go back to this verse. You got to start working for the Lord. Get in the Bible. Get in the prayer. Get in the church. Get into small groups. Get into fasting. Get into things the Bible teaches. And when you start committing your works into the Lord, that's when your thoughts can be established. There's your five quotes. Hope it helps you guys. They have a big impact in my life. Kind of keep me energized. Keep me um, my mindset. Keep me where I need to be. So hopefully they can help you too. Thank you for tuning in to all the Tuesday talks. My wife's birthday, 35, is tomorrow. Uh, was I supposed to see her age? What am I going to do next? Say her weight? Come on, man. Who says a girl's age? I don't know. You know me. I'm just transparent, right? All right, guys. Check countrysongteacher.com. Guitar Teacher 44 is my Snapchat. Good log on that, too. Have a great day. God bless you.